Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Bishop85GT here on YouTube and uh, I've been seeing a lot of these videos of uh, my knife collection type videos so I figured uh, since I have an overabundance of steel laying around my house here I would just go ahead and do this as my first video. My first knife is the uh, Bark River <coughs> knife and tool. It's called the Boon 2. It's my, uh, my very favorite knife. I take it with me whenever I go any of my uh, hiking trips, backpacking, camping. This baby is always on my uh, on my side along with my SOG multi tool which you'll see in a few, few minutes here. It's a high carbon steel. Love high carbon steel. Makes it easy to sharpen in the field. Don't need anything special. Uh, leather stocked handle it looks a lot like the uh, the uh, K bar, which is another favorite of mine. Um, the convex grind. It's very nice. I really enjoy using this knife. I've done many things, created a few things with it. Tent pegs, spoons, done quite a bit. My uh, next knife is the. Uh, Becker knife and tool. This is called the Becker Necker. You might notice that it's got a, a handle on there, and it's not just a flat piece of steel like all the other Neckers. The reason for that is the uh, other one only allowed for a, uh, a three-fingered grip, like you see in here, and uh, from here back there really wasn't any handle. So what I did was I sent it off to a friend, and I had him. Uh, Add this on here, and uh, had them extend it a little bit, about an inch, inch and a half maybe, lanyard hole there. Anyway, it's carbon steel blade. Most of my knives are. Um, it's an enjoyable knife. You can choke up on it. You can skin things with it. Um, it's a good, feels good in your hand. Locks nice and tight. Good strong knife. For carving things. It's a handy little knife. I haven't uh, unfortunately gotten to use it very much. I hope to use it soon. Another knife I have here is the uh, Scott Gossman. It's a custom knife. Um, this one is called a Tusker and it's actually part of a two piece set. It's made out of 01 tool steel. Uh, what Scott does is he uh, convexes his blades and he puts a secondary edge bevel on there. You might be able to see that in there. Um, makes it real easy to sharpen. It's 01 tool steel. I love it. I love the notch up here. Allows me to choke up on the knife. Um, it's an excellent chopper. It's got about a uh, 7 inch blade, 7.5 inch blade. Anything you want to know about any of these knives, just uh, go ahead and send me a message and I'll get into a little more detail. I just want to fit all this in 10 minutes, you know, it's kind of rough. Um, like I said, anything you want to know, just let me know. <clears throat> this was the uh, companion knife to that, also by Scott Gossman. Same 01 tool steel, same design, it's a convex grind with a secondary edge bevel. I enjoy that. Handy knife, skin, skin animals with it. Good for fine work. It's got a very good little tip here. My next knife is the uh, To the Woods knife from Brian Good. He's from uh, North Carolina. He's a custom maker. This is uh, by far one of my favorites. It's also an 01 tool steel, which is a favorite of mine. Um, handle is outstanding. Comfort wise, feels wonderful. I can choke up on the blade. You can see here there's no edge up in here. You can hold it like this. You can choke up in the blade. You can hold this and chop for days. Um, just a really nice knife. You can see it's well used. <laughs> hmm. um, next we have a cheapy but a goodie. And that would be the Frost Mora. This would be the clipper. What a wonderful little knife. If you don't have one, go get one. I'm telling you. You will not be 
you will not be disappointed. It would make a great neck knife. I've seen a lot of people wearing this around their neck. Holds a good edge. It's a carbon steel blade. Kind of a rubberish handle. Feels great in the hand. It's good for carving. I use it in the kitchen mostly. Um, I love the way it cuts and slices tomatoes, chicken, any kind of meat. I love preparing it and doing uh, food prep with this. It's very, it's a joy to use. Uh, now we'll get into some folders here. First one is a Columbia River knife and tool. I've had this for quite some time. Um, this is the M16. Um, 14. It's a really good knife. How to tip. Really not big on serrations, but there are a place for them. Opens, closes, got the flipper. Flips open real easy. One handed, love it. Clip. It's kind of light as far as tactical type folders go. Yes, it has my name on it. We won't get into all that. I have another Columbia River knife and tool. This one's called the Crawford Casper. This is an excellent knife. I'll tell you why. It's one of the smoothest opening knives I've ever had. Yeah, little flick. It's kind of hard to do from behind the camera. But as you can see, it's a little flick. It's open. It's very tight. Very smooth. I use this a lot at work. Uh, you can see some pencil marks on the blade there. Yes, it's big. We'll get into that another time. I enjoy big folders. And I got a little one here. Same thing, M16, this is the 12. Um, excellent knife, pencil marks. <laughs> um, doesn't have the locks, handles, pre locks. Um, I like it for that reason. Small, handy, penetrates. It's got that tip, excellent knife. My uh, most favorite that I do have would be the. Uh, Spider Co. at the ready. Excellent knife. Um, DG10 steel. They don't make like that anymore. Stainless handle. Compression lock at the top. Very sharp. Got that hole. Gotta love it. Okay, YouTubers, my first video. It's uh, getting a little close. I'm going to ahead and cut it short here for you. Uh, come out with the second one, part two, my collection.